last year I lost 30 pounds in three months by making one change. Not only did I lose weight, but I decreased my levels of anxiety, got better sleep, and had more energy than ever before. What's the secret? There is no secret. You have access to this hidden treasure of knowledge inside your very own copy of the Doctrine and Covenants. The Lord's Code of Health adapted to the capacity of the weakest of all saints. And believe me, when it comes to eating healthy, I am definitely the weakest. His word of wisdom explicitly invites us to eat meat sparingly. Not surprisingly, environmental and nutritional science back the Lord up on this important point. Eating meat sparingly will make the planet better, your body fitter, and bring God closer. So how does eating meat sparingly make the planet better? Over a quarter of the world's usable water sources goes towards livestock for our meat consumption. On the other hand, about 3.4 million people die every single year from the lack of access to clean and usable water. Is that Whopper that you ate for lunch keeping a young girl in India from one glass of life-sustaining water? A recent UN report warned, livestock are one of the most significant contributors to our world's environmental problems. Urgent action is required if the situation is to be remedied. Obviously, supporting a culture of heavy meat eating is one of the worst things that you can do for our planet. Well, how can eating meat sparingly make your body fitter? The literature and research from nutritional science offers a resounding conclusion about the links between heavy meat consumption, particularly red and processed meat, and heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, certain kinds of cancers, obesity, not to mention early death. Well, looking at the consequences from eating lots of meat, you'd think it was a hardcore drug or something like that, when in reality it's probably Nothing more than the hot dog you had at your ward social last week. Whether you're young or you're old, the science is tremendously clear that changing the way you eat meat now by limiting what you do will bless your physical life both now and in the future. How can eating meat sparingly bring you closer to God? Consider the words of your Creator. Yea, flesh of beasts and of fowls of the air I, the Lord, your God, have ordained for the use of man with thanksgiving. Nevertheless, they are to be used sparingly. Well, sparingly certainly doesn't mean never. But does it mean every day, every ward gathering, or every lunch here on campus? Following the Lord's commandments has never been a very popular thing. And limiting your meat intake and eating it sparingly is certainly not popular in and out of the church. But considering what the Lord offers us in keeping his commandments, really, it's something I've enjoyed doing. Growing up, I loved meat so much that my mom gave me a packaged ribeye steak for my birthday. As I think about my extraordinary love of eating meat, I realize now that I was right on a path for chronic heart failure or heart disease. A prompting to become closer to God and to better keep the commandments changed my life trajectory. And as I began to live the word of wisdom to a more full degree, I remembered the promises that the Lord gives. Yea, and all saints who remember to keep and do these sayings and walk in obedience to these commandments, shall find wisdom and great treasures of knowledge, even hidden treasures, shall run and not be weary, and walk and not faint. Despite this profound promise, and all the secular data and research we have from around the world, members of the church are, as author Jane Birch put it, flunking the word of wisdom. We are, on average, 14% more likely to be obese than our non-member counterparts here in Utah. Following the Lord and eating meat sparingly has profoundly blessed my physical and spiritual life. 
I get more done with less headache. The promises are real and available to anyone who wants them. Choose to eat meat sparingly by having at least two meatless days a week. Having a meatless Monday and a salad Sunday will bless and benefit the earth and make it better. It will make your body fitter and will bring God closer. And that's a promise.